Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. Uh, I'd love to start just a little bit about your story because you, like so many other people in this time, opened up to some of these abilities and they've been shockingly accurate and shockingly effective for people. How did you begin to open up to your gift as a medical intuitive, Janet? Well, I was not aware I was particularly intuitive for most of my life. <laughs> I thought I was quite perceptive. I had a very traditional career path in corporate life. I was in telecommunications. I I'd run a business first doing management training, and then I joined corporate life, and I got promoted and promoted and had large teams and worked with people and solved business problems, and uh, obviously there was a lot of intuitive and perceptive skills applied to that, but I never thought of myself as like, oh, I'm reading you know, into people. Mm -hmm. I always felt I was good as a manager at reading people. You know, I could see that they were agreeing or disagreeing with what I was saying in a meeting and had the skills to draw them out. But that was corporate life. And then my body, at about the age 50, uh, started getting my attention with joint pain, hip pain, so severe that by uh, age 52, I had a first total hip replacement, which is a crazy age to be getting a complete new hip. And so that happened, things changed at work, and I started realizing, you know, I'm not really feeling like there's a challenge ahead for me here that really fits. I wasn't going into work about going, oh, yes, I get to contribute in this way. I had a huge job, huge team, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't making my juices flow. And yeah. so that was another clue, but I didn't really see that until there was a change at work, and I said, hey, this isn't working for me, and we agreed to part ways. And and then then I thought, well, I'll just find a new corporate job. It's got to be a bigger job because obviously I wasn't feeling challenged. It's got to be bigger. <laughs> uh, and so I started down that path, but in the meantime said, well, let me improve my health. I've put on weight. My memory is not as sharp as it used to be. This other hip, you know, something's got to happen with that. And so I... Shortly after I got into that, then I started connecting with my spirit, doing getting quiet, meditating, and going, oh, I was guided actually to your telesummit, one of the very first places I, you know, awakened and opened to more and went, oh, okay, I remember now. <laughs> I'm a divine being <laughs> in a body. <laughs> oh, oh, I remember. <laughs> so oh. as I uh, – actually, I probably listened to your show Four days out of five, you know, maybe not the on-car replay. <laughs> it works, but it works. Time, every time every time there was a new, yeah, it worked. And every process, everybody I listened to, I got, you know, another layer peeled off and a greater, deeper remembrance of uh, my connection. And then I kept following and improving my own health. And then I started realizing that I could be near someone and somehow, without even knowing how I did it, I tuned into their energy, and I started receiving information for them. And I went, ooh, that's kind of cool. What am I going to do with that? This is an interesting gift, and I started sharing it. Your body gave me a message, you know, about what it like. Would you like to hear it? And people would go, ooh, yeah, cool. Can you do that? And I'd tell them, and they go, oh, I love that food. I just haven't had any in a long time. And I said, well, your body just wanted, you know, brought me to you in this moment to tell you this. And also to get me in a very light way starting to practice with my medical intuition. Uh, and it expanded and expanded. And I got on uh, another telesummit and I served 120 people after my first um, 
offering and created a program and now I've got hordes of people that just go, well, whatever you're doing next, tell me where you're going to be, you know, and clients now that come back to me repeatedly for new things. And I'm like, okay, we fixed that, so how about can we, you know, get this breakthrough? Mm-hmm. So it's a, it's a whole lot of fun. I love serving people. The work gets deeper and deeper. I see past lives. I'm shown curses in my program that I'm offering you. Wow. Sleep, okay. sleep issues are sometimes sleep curses. And so I'll get tuned into that and we figure out, you know, how it happens so that we can clear it. Um, uh, ancestors will show up in my sessions and work with us so we can release back oppression and suppression of um, generally women, mothers, grandmothers, the divine feminine is how it really manifests. Back. 66 generations it's just wild and crazy and we get a big party and we release a whole bunch in my sessions that is we get a big energetic party all these ancestors come forward use some fire energy and release a lot so that one i kept finding myself called to do that so i taped that and put it in an mp3 so which is part of this package so that people can just keep listening to the mp3 and keep calling forward those ancestors and keep releasing uh, more and more, peeling off their own layers of the onion, as it were. So, yeah, it's just been a wild ride for, you know, a huge opening. And I was talking to somebody last night, and I said, you know, I had this session, and I said, boy, I've never seen that before, and she laughed. She said, that's, you know, what it seems like it is lately, is everything we're seeing is that next deeper later, you know, of things that we haven't ever seen before, but the person shows up, we're able to assist them, and uh, and on we go. So it was a fun laugh with this other person um, last mm-hmm. evening. But yeah, the week the work's gotten deeper and deeper, and people just feel at the end of a session more peaceful, more open, frequency open, remembering what's possible for them to create, more excited about life, and with with you know quite a bit of relief. I did a long personal session with someone last week, a full hour, and she came to me having had back pains. Actually, it was two weeks ago, but I saw her last week. She came after back pain that she'd had for 30 years, and it was ancestral. It was kind of all wrapped around her her back in a way, and so we pulled, identified and pulled the energy out mm. and then straightened her up, and she said, my goodness, it was the first time in 30 years when she woke up the next day to not feel that and stand straight. And then she said there was another issue in her low back. And two days later that by that time, the, all the energy had integrated and that had unwound. So she was singing my praises when she saw me in a networking event and going, Oh my gosh. (laughs) She said, I knew she'd been to chiropractors. She'd been to, you know, traditional medicine and got some relief each time acupuncture, all kinds of things she tried, but it wasn't quite tapping the deeper root cause. And she just kind of knew and came to me and we were able to really create a significant shift for her. Well, let's talk about that because the question I guess a lot of people have, can we actually regenerate and restore our, our health in many respects and how? What is going on that may be keeping us from that vital state, Janet? Yes, thank you. So back, I'm just going to go back to an important event, the fall from grace. At that time, people were on the earth, were immortal and knew it, um, but somehow lost, a a number of them lost their way with staying in the light and, and started miscreating, started with their beautiful energy powers and awareness, starting to create things out of greed or personal, um, personal receiving, not in the greater good of all. And at that point, the company of heaven was watching this and said, well, we're going to have a bit of a problem here. If everybody's immortal (laughs) and they're miscreating, they could create a lot of problem. So there was a new energy created, uh, put in place and put down around the earth's frequency layers, if you want to call it that, called uh, a universal law called the occult law of death. And when that was put in place, that was the moment that aging started, uh, disease started, uh, a bunch of things happened that took away people's immortality, 
well, of course, their spirits immortal, but the physical body's physical immortality. Yeah. And and also the Akashic field, the field that we can now tap into, many of us, and see past lives and future potentialities, um, that was pulled away from the earth too, so that people wouldn't have so much information about um, their gifts and skills and what was possible because of having done a bit of losing their way, they weren't in their heart anymore. So in 2008, St. Germain and the Company of Heaven agreed that the occult law of death was no longer required. There had been enough light anchored on the planet, 30s, 40s, 50s, all the beautiful first waivers who did so much work uh, to anchor light on the planet, that and it was necessary also to have some people start to tap into youthing energies and release their beliefs around aging so that we could have enough groundwork done so that by 2012, uh, with further energetic shifts into the new Mayan calendar and, um, you know, the next, the next era, the Aquarian age instead of the Piscean age, all of that needed to have anchored some energy so that people could see that healing was possible in bigger ways. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzani, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now, daily, where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're going to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.